Small steps to big improvements. How to get asthma in control. Approximately 6.1 million children in the U.S. have asthma. Many take medicine to help them breathe easier, some when they need it, and others every day. You can help your child's asthma stay in control and ensure they feel better. One big thing you can do is be a part of the healthcare team. You are the most influential care provider on the team. These small steps are easy to take and get to the goal. Asthma in control. Small step one is use medications as directed. This provider has ordered medicines to help your child's asthma stay in control. These medicines help their breathing be the best it can be. Taking the medications or using the inhalers as the doctor ordered helps to keep asthma in control. If you are unsure of how to use the inhaler or any medicine your provider orders, ask them or your pharmacist to show you how and then teach back to the provider what you have learned. Be a partner in care and talk to your child's provider's office when the medicines are not working. Call your healthcare provider when a change is needed in your child's medication. Small step two is use your asthma action plan. An asthma action plan tells you what to do when your child's asthma is not in control. Do you hear them coughing at night? Are they wheezing? Are they starting to get a cold? The asthma action plan tells you what to do in the green, yellow, and red zones to help your child stay or get back in control. It's always best to take action early. If you do not have an asthma action plan, ask your healthcare provider for one and ask how to use it. Ensure it is kept up to date by reviewing it with your healthcare provider at every appointment. Small step three is join the team. Your provider, nurses, medical assistants, specialists, and pharmacists are all a part of the healthcare team. And so are you. Use your voice and talk to your team. Ask questions and answer their questions accurately. If your healthcare provider has a patient portal, it's one of the easiest ways to get non-urgent information to and from your healthcare provider. Send a message 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If urgent attention is required, such as if your child's in the yellow or red zone, someone from your child's healthcare office is available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So call them first. Small step four is tell them what you need. Are the medicines too costly? Are there asthma triggers in your home or neighborhood for which you need help? Is getting to the doctor's appointments difficult? Have you been unable to get food when needed? Discuss these types of barriers with your healthcare provider. They have resources and support to assist you and your family. Small step five is, help is also here. Get help at findhelp.org or call United Way pound 211. They can provide local supports to assist you for the things you need. Small step six is learn about asthma self-management and get educated. Asthma self-management education is available through your doctor's office. Small step seven is get more sleep and exercise. Kids need more sleep, so be sure to get the rest needed to stay healthy. To get better sleep, stick to a regular sleep schedule. Don't eat, drink, and avoid screen time right before going to bed. Get exercise and natural light during the day and keep your bedroom cool, dark, and quiet. Finally, remember to take any medication your doctor prescribes as directed and keep taking those small steps to better health and better breathing. Don't have an asthma action plan? Ask for one and use it. Asthma control is the goal.